angels it's actually angela and welcome back to my channel i'm really excited about this video angels because we will be finally testing out the very famous charlotte tilbury makeup i've heard so much about charlotte tilbury's face makeup so let's give these a try we have to start with primer this is a charlotte tilbury invisible uv flawless primer i like the sound of this because it's like a sunscreen and a primer all into one i don't know if this is tinted or if this is like the color it actually produces whenever you first apply it it feels very much like a sunscreen. Once it has like dried a little bit, that's when it starts feeling like a primer. It leaves a really nice, slick finish. I like how it's not very heavy feeling. So we are off to a good start. Next is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. It's in shade four, which is neutral. Here she is, angels. Whoa. Very, very liquidy, look at that. So box actually mentions a lot of skincare-like ingredients. This feels ridiculously light. I am so mind blown how this is considered a foundation. They also did mention that this is a medium coverage. So far, it just seems a bit sheer. One of the key ingredients I noticed is that they mentioned hyaluronic acid. So this is supposed to be really hydrating for your skin. This is actually one of those hybrid makeup products that I talked about, how it acts as a skincare that actually applies on like makeup. Whenever I first applied it, super lightweight, it's easy to blend, and it covers up all your pores. One thing to keep in mind, angels, is that it is a medium coverage foundation, so if you have like small acne areas, it won't 100% cover them, especially like if you have like darkness or redness. It really does look very natural. It leaves like a glowy finish. These are the product skincare properties and the longer you use this, the more it's actually supposed to help your skin. Wow, I really, really like this. So to finish off this very simple base makeup, I will be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish powder. Wow, she's pretty. And I'll be using shade number two, which is medium. Oh my gosh. I also know that this is one of Charlotte Tilbury's most famous products. For an all over perfecting finish, brush onto the entire face, brushing up and out. It is very, very fine angels. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Did y'all just see that? Was that clear? I hope it was. So this just like melts everything in. Look how it just like controls the shine. If you don't like the shiny look, I feel like you just put this all over your face, layer it on however much you want. It's kind of scary how well this works. Oh my gosh, is this even real? I am 110% sold on this airbrush flawless finish powder. Now I understand the rave about this product. I feel like the coverage of the foundation was just light enough and then to go in with this powder, it just like blurs, clears, cleans. I feel like this cleans up for the foundation, if that makes sense. Look at this. Okay, angels, let me finish the rest of my makeup. Ta-da! Other than blush, I really didn't put anything else on my face. So far, I love the way it like sits. I really feel like this is gonna be perfect for girls that don't like heavy foundation like myself. It is very, very lightweight. It definitely reduces the appearance of pores and 
fine lines. I just think the formula is perfect for every day. It is just so lightweight to wear, like it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face. Even the primer felt like skincare as well. It's not sticky or heavy or mattifying, like it just felt like a sunscreen. Overall, the finishing powder would definitely have to be my favorite out of the three, but these are also really, really good products as well. For my first time trying Charlotte Tilbury, I am definitely satisfied with the outcome. So angels, if you have been wanting to try Charlotte Tilbury without that heavy makeup feel and heavy makeup look, be sure to check out the products in this video. I'm actually Angela. Thanks for watching.